binding unit rate with complex fractions. A complex fraction is a fraction that has a fraction in its numerator, denominator, or both. For example, two-thirds over four-fifths. So to simplify this, we would simply divide two-thirds by four-fifths, which would give us five-sixths, and that would be our answer for that problem. Let's look at some examples where we have to find unit rate using complex fractions. Julia noticed her pool was filling at a rate of three-fourths of a gallon per ten seconds, or one-sixth of a minute. What is the unit rate in gallons per minute? So to figure out the order in which your fractions need to go, we look at gallons per minute. So our gallons needs to come first. So that's going to be three-fourths on top of minutes, which was one-sixth. And then we can divide that, three-fourths divided by one-sixth. And when you solve that, that will tell us that we can use four and a half gallons, or it's filling at four and a half gallons per minute. Our next example, Cade reads five-sixths pages in two-thirds of a minute. What is the unit rate in pages per minute? So since pages comes first, we have five-sixths over two-thirds, our minutes, and then we divide five-sixths divided by two-thirds. And when we solve that, that will tell us that Cade can read one and one-fourth page per minute. So again, just pay attention to the order in which it asks you your question and what term is your per term. So the term that comes after per will always be the number or fraction that will come second when solving your problem.